Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this is an important video. CSIR has announced their result. Basically, you have now the whole list of roll number who have qualified for CSIR net exam. Now this time the result is divided in three parts as it was already mentioned by CSIR. So we have JRF, we have CSIR net and we have CSIR only PhD. Okay, so these are three list or three different sections of result so let's have a look upon it so result you will find on this website which is csir hrdg website okay i will give you a link for this in the description of uh, in the description box of this particular video so you can click on that and you will come up to this particular website of csir hrdg you have to scroll down a little bit and in the news section you will find this joint csir ugc net june 2024 exam click on this and you will be able to get this pdf which has all the result okay so it says that result of joint csir ugc net uh, for junior research fellowship uh, lecturership assistant professor june 2024 exam and which was held on these three dates 25th 26th and 27th of july now as you can see there are different categories category one is those who have qualified for the award of junior research fellowship and eligible for assistant professorship so these are uh, jrf qualified under the net category okay so total 1963 students have qualified jrf under uh, csir okay so these are csir jrf so all you have to do is you just have to uh, find your roll number you just have to search your roll number and if you find your roll number in this list you have qualified for it in any of these category okay so this is uh, jrf net and then if you come a little bit down so these are basically csir jrf okay there is one more jrf as you know and that will come up as uh, uh, ugc jrf okay so if your roll number comes in this second section of the result so that means you have qualified jrf under ugc now both of these jrf are equivalent you are going to get almost same uh, all the benefits the only thing will be the agency which is going to provide you fellowship uh, like uh, like from where you are going to get your fellowship that will be different okay so csir jrf csir will give you fellowship for ugc jrf ugc will give you fellowship both of them have different way of giving fellowships okay we have a different video or a detailed video for that i will give you a link in the i button so that you can watch about that but basically 1875 students have qualified ugc jrf okay if you come down a little bit uh, for the next part of results so these are all those who have qualified under ugc jrf now this is category two okay so category one result is for all those who have qualified jrf jrf could be either csir jrf or they could be ugc jrf but category two are those who are eligible for assistant professor and admission to phd basically it means that those who have qualified net ls okay so this category 2 is the result or is, is is the total number of students who have qualified for net ls only now there are total 3172 students i have i have like made a comparison of it that whether the seat have increased or not i'll talk about this at the end of this video so don't worry about that okay so yeah if your if your roll number comes in the category two of the result that means you have qualified net and you are eligible for assistant professorship also you are eligible to apply for phd admission in universities and ugc approved institutes and this is the second section okay or second category of the result and this now you have the third category if you scroll down yeah so this is the new category which is introduced and this is category three which are eligible for admission to phd only so these are only those students or these are the students who can apply for phd only and this is something new which csir has started from this cycle and a lot of students have qualified this okay 10969 almost 10000 like 970 students like basically 10969 students that's a big 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 number so these many students have qualified for uh, phd only admission and uh, if a roll number comes in this that means you can take admission based upon this result into phd in i in your U ugc approved institutes and csir institutes uh, but yeah you will not be eligible to apply as assistant professor or neither you are eligible to get a fellowship okay so that's the third category of result uh, let me just scroll down a little bit so a lot of students have qualified under this category and uh, yeah so the in the last they have given certain points that the council shall not be responsible for any printing error or something like that for admission to phd the marks obtained by net 
by the candidates in category 2 and and category 3 will be valid for the period of one year from the date of declaration of results so make sure that if you want to take phd admission uh, you should take it within one year okay so your phd admission score is only valid for two years okay now it says that the result for net will be declared a uh, percentage along with the marks obtained by the candidate to utilize the marks of the admission of the phd fine it says that the candidate qualifying under category 2 and category 3 of the admission to phd the marks obtained by net will have 70 percent weightage 30 percent weightage will be based on the performance in the interview okay so your marks will be given 70 percent weightage and you also have to appear in interview then only you will overall your aggregate will decide that whether you will get phd admission or not okay uh, the fourth point says that the eligibility criteria and the upper age limit for category 1, category 2 and category 3 is mentioned in the information bulletin. All those things are given over here. Uh, yeah, so date of declaration of result is 14th of October and instructions related to issuance, obtaining eligibility certificate and all those things will be notified separately. And yeah, this is what it is. So we have not got the cutoff marks as of now. We have just got the list of candidates who have qualified this is how the result comes you can expect the cutoff marks by uh, today like when you are watching this video it would be morning in india so yeah this day you are most probably you will be getting the result with the cutoff do let me know what according to you because you if your roll number comes in the list or not based upon that you can have a good idea about it that what is approximate cutoff for this year for csn at chemical sciences do let me know in the comment section below i will be very happy to hear about it so that's it for this video guys we will be discussing this in detail in the upcoming days when we will be having uh, the cutoff marks and we will be having all the details accordingly so we will discuss about that in detail during that duration for now i think this is the time when we should uh, just look upon our result and try to understand that what is the cutoff for this year. Although we have now three sections of result, so there are high chances that a lot of students will be qualified, uh, especially in the category three, because 10,000 students have qualified in the category three of the result. I wish you all the best for your result and I hope to hear some good news from you all. So do let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about it. And if you have any question, you can drop down, drop that down below as well and uh, see you guys in the next video hopefully with the final result and the final cutoff take care and bye bye